All right, today's video, I'm gonna talk to uh, my viewing audience, all 10 of you, about um, where I get my parts from, why I choose to buy them there, and uh, why I'm not a big proponent of repairing things with eBay, Amazon stuff. All right, um, I wrote a little blurb on my HBH Parent Service Facebook page about that subject at one point, and um, you can go view that and read it if you don't want to hear me talk and shoot the shit about it. But uh, I'm going to give you a couple instances here that, uh, and just kind of show you a general idea of what you get when you order OEM factory parts or um, even, you know, reasonable aftermarket stuff. But it, people, I can't stress this enough. Just because it's cheap don't mean it's better. All right, number one, I'll give you a story about uh, a guy that had brought me, it was um, a V4 Evinrude, and the starter was smoked on it. So I quoted him a price. He didn't like the price. Well, what about eBay? I told him, I said, I don't do eBay stuff. So he says, well, I'll bring you a starter. And I'm thinking, oh, God, here we go. All right. <clears throat> he brings me a starter. He says, got it for $75 on eBay. Got it to me in four days. Great. Good for you. But I told him, and this kind of perturbed him. I told him, I said, there's not going to be a written guarantee on this. I said, I'm not standing behind a part that I didn't buy. And he didn't understand that. And <laughs> I proved my point to him after he went to a fishing tournament that weekend and the starter burn up on him again. All right. Um, locked up on him. Didn't burn up, but locked up on him and wouldn't do shit. You know, the, the, the Bendix engaged the starter once or twice. I don't know how many times he ran the boat since it left, but the Bendix went up, engaged the starter or, or the flywheel motor kicked over. When the motor kicks over, it kicks the Bendix back down. That was it. Then, you know, the starter motor wouldn't turn over after that. Um, $75 eBay part. Where did that get you? That got you to come back down to me again. <laughs> he insisted on spending another. Well, found another one for eighty dollars. Okay, so now the guy's at a buck fifty-five, just in parts, and then he's paying me to put them on, and I'm not guaranteeing work that I didn't supply parts on. I just don't. I can't do that. If I did, I'd lose my ass, and there's another reason why. Okay, takes it out. Um, and this one was fine. All right. Now, granted, he got charged $60 labor for me to change the starter once, $60 labor again for me to charge it or change it again. So he's at $120 in labor and we're talking three, four bolts and the starter falls off. All right. But I charge by the hour. So anybody brings something to me, they get charged for an hour, whether it takes me 15 minutes or 55 minutes, they get charged for an hour. So he's at, you know, $120 labor, $155 in starter repair or starter that he bought from eBay. So you do the math. Yeah. He maybe saved a little bit, but what what did he save? He lost time on the water. <laughs> he uh, don't have a written guarantee on that because I'm not gonna stand part behind parts that I do not supply. That's just my uh, it's my policy. All right. If I would have stood behind that, then I lost sixty bucks because I'd have lost an hour's worth of labor to change it. So he had 120 in labor, 
plus 155 in starter parts. He was at $275. All right. If uh, he would have bought the starter off of me, OEM, $225 for the starter and $60 to change it, he'd have been at $285. All right. Where did he save? Yeah, he held on to an extra $10. But then he had, <laughs> you know, the cost of dragging the boat down to me twice. The, you know, inconvenience of missing a weekend that he could have been out fishing because he opted to uh, use something he got from eBay because it was cheap. <laughs> how, how much did that really save him in the long run? And my point to this, okay, I got a water pump kit today doing a 99 Johnson Evan Rude. Well, they've run that gear case for... 74 till they quit making nine nines in the two stroke four stroke stuff the gear cases were interchangeable now i gotta do a water pump job on it now mind you um oem johnson avenue box okay what we got we get instructions you get a complete kit with everything. Water grommets, new bolts, everything included in that kit. Now, you get on eBay. <laughs> that kit was, I think it was, um, I think it was like $54, $64 if I'm not mistaken, my cost. Okay eBay, sure, you can find them for $20. You know, you're going to find that the cost of that impeller is like $19 or $20 by itself. All right, then you get the eBay water pump kit, and it's missing a gasket. It's missing a water pump tube, the, the grommet for the water intake tube. Or it's missing this. It don't come with the bolts, what have you. Where'd you gain? You didn't gain shit. Because <laughs> then you might have to go run and get a gasket, run and get a housing grommet. What'd you gain? My point is, cost doesn't always dictate what you need to do. Get the original stuff if you can. I, uh, my two suppliers that I mainly deal with offer OEM stuff. The one does offer aftermarket options, but they're good aftermarket options. CDI Electronics and uh, CR branded stuff, which anybody that knows the brands knows you can pick up uh, CR branded stuff at any Napa store. Yes, Napa. Now, We're going to get into Merc Cruiser stuff because I got a big job and I'm going to show you what comes in a Merc Cruiser box. As far as starter kit, all right, could I have picked this up on Amazon or eBay? Certainly. Could have. Didn't. Reason? Here is your original starter that came out of the boat. Okay. This is in a Merc Cruiser box from Mercury Marine. Packed well. There's the starter. It's identical. It's the same stinking starter, okay? Another thing you have to keep in mind too, especially with the uh, 
with the I.O. stuff is car starters are not meant for boats. Car alternators are not meant for boats. You don't know what the hell you're buying when you get on eBay or Amazon and find this stuff that's priced ridiculously low. It might not be rated. It comes from China. It, it you know, it's what I mean by marine rated is they have to be sealed so they don't cause a, like a a spark under your hood. So anybody that knows about IOs, you have a blower. Before you hit the ignition switch, you're supposed to run the blower for five minutes or open the hatch and let the engine compartment breathe. And the reason is your battery is usually stored back there. Your fuel tank is right around there somewhere. You might have explosive gases hanging out under the hood. Okay, if you put a car starter, a car alternator, car ignition system onto a something that was designed for marine environment and you don't have a blower and you hit the key switch and you had explosive gases hanging out god help you you might blow the ass into your boat up now am i saying that's gonna happen no but it very well could that's the difference between marine and automotive electricals when it comes to you know buying boat parts so always 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 especially on the io stuff buy what it's supposed to have don't dictate oh, 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 i can save a hundred dollars by sticking you know with this ebay starter clam <laughs> well okay billy bob let's hang it on there and see what happens <laughs> ba boom Billy Bob and Clem meet their demise and the boat sinks to the bottom. <laughs> anyway, you know, the, the safety aspect out of the, the question, but you know, Merc Cruiser gives you the brackets, new bolts, new nuts, everything in the box. Hell, there's even instructions in the box. Try getting out of Amazon stuff won't happen and my point is don't damn your mechanic when he gives you a price on something and you can find the part cheaper on ebay yeah maybe you can but the origin of the part do you know where it comes from do you know that the manufacturing facility even if it was you know the all manufacturers have stuff that's made abroad. It's just the way of the world now. But there are standards that have to be met or parts get rejected. And if people don't understand how the uh, manufacturing process and what... You know, the parent manufacturer does in a case where, okay, say they're getting parts from people's plant number two in China. And they're getting a bunch of stuff coming back on them that, well, people's plant number two is fucking up a lot of shit. So we're not going to use people's plant number two anymore. Bang, done. They go and move on. Um, That's the way it's been for years um it's the way it's probably going to continue to be because i don't see this world changing all that much to where everything's going to be in-house like it was years and years and years ago it's just not going to happen so <clears throat> with that in mind you keep that in mind when you're buying stuff if you buy the oem stuff or even, you know, the well-known aftermarket parts. The manufacturing process is known. The part, the, the material that the parts are made out of is known. The process is known. The quality is going to be there. Now, I'm not saying you can't buy a $75 starter on eBay and have it last for years and years and years. You know, God knows that I've preached to people about certain things 
while I've been in this business and some follow and some don't. And there's a couple that don't that squeak by in life with not having to see me very often. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> God love them because, they, you know, hey, if they're happy and their equipment's running good, I'm happy. But, you know, don't push the envelope when it comes to this. It, it's just not worth it. It's, it's just not. You're not like the, the starter story. The guy saved $10. <laughs> I don't know about you, but the hassle of running the boat back to the mechanic twice to replace a starter on it that he had already replaced, you know, once it's on its second one, that was worth more than the $10 he saved. Maybe it not be to him because, you know, I don't know. I don't remember exactly where he dragged the, the boat from, but he probably burned up $10 in gas bringing it to me twice. So really, he saved nothing. But uh, don't damn your mechanic when when you see the prices for some of these parts because Marine is very application-specific. And I just... I've had people bring me the eBay stuff some of it's worked a lot of it hasn't and I'm not gonna buy a part that I'm not gonna stand behind my name's on these repair jobs floating around okay and if my name is on it I better damn well make sure that it's gonna work for them and last and you know that the repair is of good quality because as much as I love my customers, as love as much as uh, you know, I enjoy working on their stuff. I don't want to see them come back for something that should have been taken care of because and something failed because of subpar parts or things of that nature. So, um, on a closing note, I gotta run to the lake and do a couple jobs out there and come back and dig into that pontoon boat and get them going so they can have it by the uh, holiday weekend coming up the end of the month. So with that in mind, keep your heads up. Stay tuned. Do or do not, choice is yours. Thank you.